Hello, I'm Ralph Shuck. I'm the software manager for Victolic Tools for Revit. Today I want to talk to you about a new tool called our Hanger Snap Tool. It reassociates hangers with pipe and duct and cable tray. To use the tool, what we're going to first do is, is place some hangers. Uh, you can see within our existing hanger families that we have in the user toolbar, we have clevis hangers, roller, some strut. A lot of companies create their own hangers and customize our families and use those as a template. And you're more than able and welcome to do that. Uh, one additional workflow that we've seen is a lot of times people don't always put those hangers in the ribbon. So then they're manually adjusting the parameters on it. So if you have hangers that you're using in your project and you don't always put them in the user toolbar, you can take advantage of some of those workflows by using the hanger snap tool. But in this case, just to simplify the workflow, we're just going to grab the standard clevis hanger from the, from the ribbon. I'm going to go with the default array settings. So we're going to click OK. So as I click on the piece of pipe, you can see it arrayed the hangers. Now what obviously happens through coordination is you have to move a piece of pipe. You know, it might be a few inches to a few feet. And obviously at that point then the hangers a lot of times are left behind. So what's nice with the hanger snap tool is I can just come in here and do a, a rough window selection. I can grab pipe, pipe fittings, pipe accessories, and as long as I get the hangers, the hangers I have in this selection will be filtered and will be applied to the, uh, to the use of the hanger snap tool. So the hanger snap tool can be found in Victolic tools underneath fabrication hangers or you can find it over in the modify ribbon under the same location underneath the fabrication hangers hanger snap tool. I a lot of times set up a keyboard shortcut of um, HS and then I'll utilize that so I can easily access the command. But since I had the hanger selected I just click on the piece of pipe and you can see all the hangers reassociate to the pipe. One of the challenges that we see customers dealing with is slope piping. That can really be a challenge when you're when you're moving hangers and coordinating piping. So what I'm going to do to illustrate that is I'm going to use a command called parallel pipes and we're just going to throw another line right next to this one. I can come over here to the other end and I'll tab over that system and in Revit I can easily apply a new slope to that piping system. I a lot of times like to use a quarter inch per foot. That helps illustrate the slope a lot better and, and enables testing and visualization. So you can see here you can clearly see this piece of pipe is, is sloped. So if I do the same thing. I do a window selection to grab the hangers I want to reassociate to the pipe. I can go to Vic Tools, grab the hanger snap tool, select the piece of pipe, and you can see all the hangers snap to that new piece of pipe. One thing it, you can see that it didn't do is it didn't actually move this hanger down here at the bottom. And the reason it didn't do that is what the hanger snap tool does is it looks for any hanger that's perpendicular to the pipe. So if you have the pipe routed on angles or if it's parallel perpendicular to structure, uh, it's always going to look for a hanger that's perpendicular to itself and then it'll move it over straight across. The other thing the hanger snap tool does is if insulation values change, it's going to update that. If the uh, size of the pipe changes, it'll update the hanger for that and it'll also update the hanger for the system changes. So you're able really to copy one set of hangers across and reapply them to different pipes of different systems, different sizes, different insulation thicknesses. So hopefully you can see the value of the new hanger snap tool and we appreciate your time for watching this video. Thank you.